All right, back at it again. So some of you guys don't know, I'm, uh, my full-time job is actually a school teacher. And I was at cafeteria duty, and the kids were eating out of a strange-looking Dorito bag. And they had the side was ripped off, and they were eating out of it. And I was like, what the heck are they doing? What it was, it was a taco in a bag. So I figured, I saw that, and I said, hey, that might make a pretty good challenge. So I'm going to make a giant taco in a bag. I got my bag in a box here because I didn't want it to fall all over the place. Uh, I'm trying to keep it in the box. If it gets too hard to eat out of this, I got an aluminum tray. I'll try to dump it into that. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I didn't practice this or anything. So, uh, all right. So the first thing they had was Doritos. Dump this bag, a party size bag, a regular, regular Doritos. Uh, and they were kind of squishing them down and crunching them, so. That's, that's not enough. I had another bag just in case. I didn't weigh out any of these ingredients, so hopefully this doesn't get crazy. These are 15 ounce each. Crush up the Doritos. Pretty good. And then the next thing will be some taco meat. This is about, I think it's around four to five pounds of hamburger I used that I I burnt a little bit. Oh well. So we'll just dump that in there. All right. Uh, kind of mush that around a bit. Mix it with the. I hope this bag doesn't rip. I might just dump it in the aluminum tray once I get started. Alright. Uh, next I got pound of cheese. And this is four cheese Mexican blend. <laughs> That's a lot of cheese. Uh, okay. Next I got uh, I'm gonna go with the guacamole. And this is actually the very first time I've tasted guacamole. Uh, yuck. I hope that flavor gets covered up. I got a can of Mexican style vegetable and bean blend just because I think the kids had corn on their tray and this needs some corn so we'll dump that in there hopefully that'll cover up the flavor of that guacamole sorry if you like guacamole but yuck all right of course we got sour cream This is looking like a lot. <laughs> oh boy. I think I'm gonna probably start eating it out of this and then transfer it over to the um, another container of sour cream. These are 16 ounces each, so about a quarter of sour cream. I hope I can finish this. <laughs> this is a lot. Oh my god. Alright. Let me just mix this up a little bit. <laughs> That's what the kids would do when they were like digging at it to mix it all up in the bag. I just want to be careful I don't rip this bag. I 
I might just end up beating this with my hand. We'll, we'll see. All right, and then finally we've got a little bit of vegetables. I got some lettuce and some tomatoes. And I don't like tomatoes either, so. Uh, all right, let me just mix this up with my hand. And I think I'm gonna rinse my hand off before I start eating this. So you might see me go off camera for a second. Or I might, uh, I might just actually eat this with my hand, I don't know. It's so much. All right, let me go rinse my hands so I can kind of show you what's going on. All right, so let me just hold this up so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. It's just all the stuff all mixed up together. Kind of looks like mush. Oh, and uh, of course, when you're in school, what do you drink? Chocolate milk, so. Okay, we'll try to eat this. Um, that tastes good. I'm not going to time this. I don't have a... Only maybe I do. Yeah, I got a timer right here. Stopwatch. So zero. All right. Uh, giant taco in the bag. You saw me make it. Hopefully you can see me eat it. And I'll start. I'm guessing I'm about half halfway done, maybe a little bit less. Just cross cross six minute mark. Still tastes good. The Doritos are starting to lose their crunch. Actually good. Whew. I think when I get to the bottom, I'm going to have to use my hand <coughs> so I don't rip through this bag.
I'm not much just saying wait. Oh, that's a lot. <clears throat> Thing to do is <coughs> uh, transfer what's left. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Into this bowl, so you guys can see the last bit. Oh, so I can see how much is left too. This is. Oh, I wasn't ready for this. I thought it was gonna be an easy one. A lot of dried Doritos at the bottom too. Hey, it's my first taco in a bag, so bear with me here. Alright. Okay. I'm good with that. Whoo, look at all that. Oh, all right. Oh, I want to sit down. Here. Twelve minutes. I don't want this taking longer than twenty. So. Oh. make 20 minutes. I didn't expect this to be so crunchy at the bottom.
I'm getting close, I'm not gonna make it. Mmm. 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 Oh. All right, 20 minutes exactly, 20 minutes and three one hundredths of a second. Whatever, I didn't swallow the 20, but who cares? Uh, I want to do a little math on that. That was harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be an easy challenge. The Doritos are 15 ounces a bag. That's a little less than a pound. The sour cream probably weighs, well, the guacamole weighs a pound for 16 ounces. So the sour cream is probably pretty close to that. So... One, two, three, four, five. Pound of uh, cheese, six. I'm not going to count the corn just because of the error. Uh, we'll just round down. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it was five pounds of hamburger meat. But I drained the fat. But then I had to add some water back to mix it up to make it so it wasn't so dry. So yeah, rough. So about 11 pounds. That seemed like, oh, and then lettuce, and I had two tomatoes. Yeah, probably around 12 pounds. I wasn't ready for that. I didn't practice all day. I was out riding my bike all day. So, there you have it. Chocolate milk. World's slowest chugger. Ugh. Giant taco in a bag. Done. Thank you.